John, a huge contrast in terms of the way the game went today, but the same outcome. You've taken another invaluable three points. Yeah, you know, um, we're not going to be able to play like that and win all the while. Um, I don't think we reached anywhere near the standards we can or we can reach. And, you know, we've worked on it this week in training. Um, and it just didn't come off today for some reason. We just we didn't fire going forward. Um, but having said that, I thought the back four and the two holding midfielders thought, and the keeper were outstanding. And they stuck to the guns really well. And, you know, I know they had a couple of chances on it. Possibly a win is a little bit hard. Well, it's a feat for Plymouth. is a bit harsh on them, to be honest. But <clears throat> we did defend well. And sometimes, you know, you need that. You know, we spoke to the players after the game and best one in the world, the attacking... Though the attackers last week got the defence out of jail by scoring five to concede four. And I think I think today it's definitely been the favours being returned or repaid. Um the defence certainly um you know spared the attackers brushes, I thought. Obviously because of the amount of chances that Plymouth made or in the amount of pressure that they have more than anything, it was a, a rear guard action. I guess it shows that those defenders are eminently capable, doesn't it, after they conceded the four last week? Well, they are capable, yeah. You know, but you're not going to get away with having to deal with that amount of pressure week in, week out. You know, so we've got to alleviate the pressure and, you know, we've got to defend from the front. And I don't think we did today. And that's something that we, you know, we'll have to address in training this week. And, you know, we'll, we'll be going for another tough game next week. So, you know, we have to we have to get things right if we want to go in the right direction. You know, we are slowly going in the right direction. Um, but you know the, the league's very, very tight, and we should be told the players at half time how, how much three points is like gold dust. And you know we've got to fight for uh, for everyone, and give the lads the duty to fight in the second half. Did you have to have a few words with them at half time? You did have the goal lead, but you were getting deep. There was a lot of harsh words said at half time. To be honest, um, you know it's been all on Kidori. The players have only seen the nice side of me for the last nine days. I'm not quickly see the other side of me. Um, you know, I'm a winner. I want to win. I want to win games. I want to work hard. I want passion. I want fight. I want drive. And I didn't see enough of that in the first half. We did in the second half. Um, and you know, the, the lads were to have a so hard in the second half. And I, I thought the subs did really well when they came on as well. So, um, you know, and if you add that to a decent performance by the back four, you know, there's there's, there's room for improvement. But there's certainly there a cornerstone to build on. The odd goal won it in the end. Carl Naismith taking his chance when he was presented with it. Yeah, you know, sometimes you get screamers and they don't go in and other times, you know, a shot surprises the keeper and I think that was certainly the case. Um, you know, it was quite similar to the, the, the goal that was scored against Man City man, um, early on in the season. Um, so, you know, we'd like to make more chances. We would like to have made more chances today. We only had fed off scraps really. Give us many good save off John O'Sullivan and Zedda. And Carl's you know, been a little bit wasteful when he's gone clean through. But apart from that, we didn't really care about many, many opportunities, and that's disappointing. Yeah, I get the impression you are pretty disappointed with the way your team's played. When the season progresses, when it goes along, will you look back and just go, look, three points, one nil, we've done the business? Well, you know, at the end of the day, you'd sooner play badly and win than play great and lose. But if we're going to try and attract people to come, through the gates, and we're going to try and get the club moving in a, you know, in an upwards curve, um, or not so much an upward curve, just an upward m motion. And yeah, we're going to have to offer a product that's entertaining and exciting to watch. And at times it wasn't today. And I thought the fans did the best to try and motivate the players today. But you know, we've got to be, we have to mind the ball. We have to be kept more careful on the ball. We have to pass it better. And we were sloppy today. We, we give the ball away far, far too cheaply. And in terms of today, you and Jimmy coming back, you said you hoped it was going to be special. The performance from the team aside, was it special for you? Oh, yeah, it was great. It was great when you've won, you know what I mean? Well, um, you know, you can sometimes get carried away, you know, with, with the occasion and say, oh, you know, it's an homecoming. It just feels like we've never been away, to be honest. And we soon just get down to business and forget all about that, you know. We've got a job to do to try and get as many points as we can. Um, and we certainly want to get into that top half. Um, last time I was in the football league, you won two games, you went up about ten places, then we've only gone up two. So, <laughs> with six points, so. Uh, no, nah, but, you know, we'll keep working away. You know, we know that we're, we can compete with anybody in this league. We're, we're quite comfortable with that knowledge. 
But in order to do that, you've got to apply yourselves. And sometimes today we didn't apply ourselves. And, and that's something that we're trying to address. Lovely.